The following video may contain harsh language and spoilers for the movie in question. I mean, prob probably, I, I don't know. Really just depends on what you consider to be what. Today on Movie Mac Review, we will be talking about Peninsula. Here's what happened. In South Korea, zombies happened. People were evacuated, but years later, a former soldier and his brother-in-law go back in for some of that sweet cash money just laying about. But they get separated. The soldier finds a mother, her two daughters, and their grandfather. The brother gets abducted by deranged lunatics who make him fight against zombies for sport. So, to get out of the quarantine zone, they need a satellite phone, which is in the compound where the fights take place. Rescue the brother, and get the hell out of Dodge. The start of the film is heart-wrenching to say the least, and the emotion of the first film is present for a bit. Once the men get separated and we go through the hardened soldier and the lovable scraps bit, contrasted with the zombies beyond Thunderdome bit, the emotion fades. Swapping between the two events at awkward moments didn't help much. In fact, it throws off any pacing that we set up. Would have been better to just show one in its entirety than switch to the other. Could have stopped at the point where they decided to go on the rescue mission and save some momentum. The action is mostly devoid of emotion, unlike round one, which was gushing with it. The finale chase scene was very much Fast and Furious Mad Max edition. Computer effects used on the cars and zombies was obviously computer. Good computer stuff, but still it kind of had to be since cars just don't work like that. Set design for a city in ruin was terrific, and the zombies looked just as good as they did before. Seeing them literally stacked on top of each other was a scene that gave me a substantial chill. The finale does feel a bit lengthy. They reach a point where you think it will go one way, and you desperately do not want it to, but then the characters finally, after way too much him-haw, finally do the right thing, and the ending gives us the happiness we need after the soul-breaking finale of its predecessor. Though I won't say it surpasses the first installment, this is a fantastic film that you should buy. Let me know what you thought of Peninsula, and thanks for watching.